ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the APFC welterweight division, sponsored by Third Coast T-shirts. And your referee in charge, it's Josh Stewart. And now introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, he stands six feet, three inches tall, official weight, 171 pounds. Coming in tonight with a record, four victories, with one defeat, fighting out of Wabash, Indiana, Stephen. Cornell! And across the cage, the opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks, he stands six feet three inches tall. Official weight, 168.1 pounds. Coming in tonight with a record, four victories with three defeats. Fighting out of Mantello, Illinois. Matt Ryan! Matt Ryan is staring into his soul right now. He has a his sharp look on his face. That's certainly not taking the eyes off some baby blues up there on Matt Ryan. Yeah. But wow, this is another one of those matchups where when we met with these guys, we're like, I can't believe these dudes are facing them. We're like, really? Yeah, when we saw the face off, and both these guys getting right in each other's face right away, we knew they were going to bring action. Ryan's on the body kicks, Cornet goes high. Just phone booth from the get-go, Matt Ryan, not content on feeling this out, Jason. No, and a couple of nice frames for this 170-pound official. We have another Southpaw versus Orthodox matchup right here, so there's been a lot of those today. I'm looking at it like, all right, how many lefties are there in the world now? Matt Ryan, a guy that is certainly willing to take one to get one, as evidenced by that mullet upstairs. I mean, he is as wild as they come. Massive slam below. Yeah, very good slam right there. Good body lock. Did a good job. Now he's getting great position in the half guard right now. Ryan is going for the wrist, going for the Dagestani handcuff. He reaches across. Some ground and pound right there. A lot of strikes coming on to Cornette. Steve's got a move, Jason. Yes, he does. Matt Ryan looks possessed, man. And he looks certainly comfortable down there on the ground. He did a really good job of having a hand control the, against the cage. And then he was hitting him, so Cornette couldn't defend any of the shots. You no, know, while he talked about the focus not being on these first couple minutes, he's kind of intent on maybe finding the stoppage soon, Jason. It looks to be. But Stephen Cornette is poised, and he looks certainly in a position where he's you know, in control, even in a bad position. He always says, I want to get beat up before I wake up, right? So he's getting beat up right now. Let's go for that wake up. Yeah, 90 seconds to go in round number one. Here's the alarm clock, Steve Cornett. Matt Ryan doing a really good job with that uh, lead hook right there, controlling the position, staying on the hip, not overdoing it or jumping the gun right now on the very naked choke. Oh. He got it on the chin right now. That's, that's painful. Uncomfort for Steve Cornett. Matt Ryan, maybe not squeezing as much as he can, but a bad position, Jason. 100%. Tough to see how deep it's in. Tough to see how compromised Cornett is. His face against the fence. Looks more on the face than underneath. Yeah, but that really hurts right there. That's one of those that Cornett's really toughening out right now because you could break your jaw right there if it's a tight squeeze. Oh, Ryan. Steve Cornett in a world of pain. He is grimacing below. Yeah, Matt Ryan is doing a very good job trying to adjust his hands, trying to get the gable grip right there. Now he knows that he doesn't got it, so he's trying to change it up to an arm triangle right here. Let's see if he can get on top. Beautiful defense by Cornette, but frame out right there from Ryan. 38 seconds to go. Jason Anik, he's unloading. Dude, I tell you, in this kid, he didn't want to talk about anything else other than mixed martial arts. It, it's just so clear to see a bright future. Talking about that loss, I believed it when he said he fixed his game. What can Steve Cornette do to find some success here in the final moments of round one below? Cornette needs to let, stop letting him grab his hands and take control of his hands. Right now, we call this right here a gift, gift wrap because you're leaving your space open and you're letting him hold your wrist. You're not able to post up and get up. He needs to put his back against the cage. He's doing a good job of staying calm because a lot of that younger guys in that position would give up a choke or look for a way out. You can tell he's tough because the bad choke on the chin right there, he, he didn't get, have no give up at all. What a mauling first round from the mullet wearing Matt Ryan, Jason Anik. Unbelievably impressive start. Certainly was, but I think certainly a lot of en energy expended by both guys in that first round. So certainly Ryan seemed to not, he seemed to give up on those cranks when he wasn't, you know, when they weren't happening. But um, going to be interesting to see how much they have left. Bilal Muhammad takes through some of the replays from round at number one. Yeah, Matt Ryan did a really good job of positioning him against the fence. Now he went with this rear naked control. Didn't overdo it, right? He had it on the chin. He didn't. I don't think he really burned out his arms right there. I think he understood that I don't have it fully in. I'll try to squeeze it in. All right, Cornette's tough. Let me get on top. Let me mount him and control the rest of the round that way. Sometimes with a hammer, sometimes with a nail. Steve Cornette spent the majority of that first round being the nail. Well, he says he's lost until he's won, so it's like he flip it around and become the hammer. <laughs> Clash of hairstyles here. You can see the frizz going on for Steve Cornette. 
And around round number two, this fight is brought to you by Third Coast T-shirts. You need a T-shirt, better make a Third Coast one. Not First Coast, not Second, Third Coast. Deep press on both sides, Barama Muhammad, body optics, space out. Yeah, that Ryan came out right back into his face again. I think he's going to try to take it back to the ground. He had success there. And if I'm his coaches, I'm telling him, let's take him right back to him and get to finish. The least resistance definitely for him. Steve Cornette, though, making it happen. Bad spot here, Jason. Looks to be a little tough to see if he's quite under, but Matt Ryan looks to be compromising. He's trying to get a no arm guillotine and though. He needs to have it underneath his chest. Steve Cornette trying to go to work, but the strike's now deep in on the hips. Down to the canvas, Matt Ryan goes blown. Now Matt Ryan is trying to go very good. If I'm him, I'm, if it's not there, I think he's very smart in those positions. He knows there's nothing there. I don't want to burn out my arms right here. I want to work my way back to the fence, get my feet on the hips, and get back up on my feet. I don't want to be on bottom against anybody. You need to have fun. Out goes the head of Steve Cornette. Best spot for him through seven minutes so far. Kind of a reversal of round number one, Jason. Yeah, and Ryan has to be careful down here. Steven Cornette is skilled on the ground, has the ability to finish. So if Matt Ryan, in his last fight, what, did have some moments like this where he just couldn't get up. 150 to go. Cornette up over the mullet. Trying to give him a taste of his own medicine, Baloney. Yeah, we've got to have some coaching camps in here because <laughs> a lot of these fighters have been making great adjustments in between rounds. And a lot of the switches have been flipped with one guy's dominated the first round, now the other guy dominated the second round. Matt Ryan trying to find a reversal here, deep in on that right leg. Working his way up to a base here, potentially. Cornette, a little bit of ground and pound, just prescribing some medicine, Jason. Matt Ryan, though, flips it around. Yeah, reverses it. And again, the matchmaking, these guys very well. And Cornette looks like he's, you know, breathing a little heavy at this point. Yeah, that was a nice little shutter right there. That was, that was some good high-level wrestling. Great job of switching his position up, getting on top. But now he's in his guard, and let's see if he gets better position, get another uh, dominant spot to end this round that you're losing. Well, we haven't seen much of it. Matt Ryan also one and one in amateur kickboxing. He is kind of transcending different disciplines, trying to give himself as many looks as possible. At 22 years young, that is a very unique thing to see. No question about it. So, Bilal, these three-minute rounds for these amateurs, is that, uh, I know for you, you imagine three minutes, you could go all day. But they're not really accustomed to five minutes, so this is sort of not necessarily an easy Three minutes for them. Yeah, for any type of fight that you're in, especially for the younger guys who have it, aren't used to it yet. Like, you're breathing hard. It feels like you just ran a marathon after that fight. So a lot of these guys, once they get that feel for competition, like both their arms in between rounds are probably gone. It feels like you probably fought a five-round fight after your first round. Especially with the majority of grappling exchanges that we've seen in this one, that has got to be as tiring as all get out below. Yeah, that, that's the hardest part about MMA and amateur fighting, right? Is when you're in those grappling exchanges, if you're overdoing it, you're over pulling, you're over grabbing, you're over squeezing. And when you get back to start throwing punches again, you're like, what? Did I just like lift 100, 300 pounds? I'm like, no, <laughs> do I have a chest day? I'm like, no, bro, I went for a single way. <laughs> Matt Ryan ends round two on top. Steve Cornette, though, early success, however, not sustained. Jason, add your thoughts on that second frame. You know, close round there. Matt Ryan, to me, just still continues to look possessed to me. I still, Steve Cornette had some more moments in that round, but he's really going to have to flip the switch here to get the decision. Well, yeah, Matt Ryan got his head down right now. He looked a little bit tired right now, but that was a hard second round, beginning of the second round. And especially after dominating a first round, we had a lot of confidence going to the second. So it was a tough first round, but he ended up strong. He ended up on top, ended in Steve Cornette's guard to finish the round. And we've seen these guys both working in great positions. And you see him now touching it at the end, yeah. getting fist bound. So there's not animosity between these two. Yeah, but, but come on. That's like the hug between the rounds. That the taps. <laughs> uh, a lot, of, a lot of respect and gamesmanship shown. Third and final round ahead of us between these two highly touted amateur mixed martial artists. And again, a lot of experience from Matt Ryan. I mean, seven fights under the belt, south of 23. Pretty impressive, Bilal. Yeah, I mean, that tells me he's, he started young and he's hungry. And even when we talked to him, like, this is another one of the guys that was, hey, I want to get, come up pro. I want to get into the UFC. I want to work. Matt Ryan storming across the cage. Ooh, Steve Cornette. So okay. Kick up the middle. Now to the body, Matt Ryan might be destabilized, Jason. Looks to be a little bit shook, but still game. Steven Cornette coming out with a vengeance. I think Cornette's going to regret making it a grappling match. He, I think he rocked him with that up kick. He should have stayed on the outside and kept throwing punches at him. But he, he's just comfortable on the grappling, and that's where Matt Ryan 
has been living this whole time. So. Sometimes they're shaken, but not stirred. Matt Lyon gets it back to the canvas in a big way. No question about it. And you can see the expression on Steve Cornett, right? He kind of was a bit displeased at finding himself back on the mat. Yeah, but he's doing a good job of not just giving up position. He got he had side control, and you know, from there, Matt Ryan would probably went to mile, but he got back into his butterfly guard right here. And I want to see if he worked his way up, because he did have success right there with that up kick. Let's try it again. Let's bring it again. You were doing well in the striking, but I think both these guys are just more comfortable in the grappling exchanges. We'll say have not seen much vertical movement from Steve Cornett through three rounds when that Ryan's on top. Ryan, really good at just neutralizing and smothering. Yeah, good fight IQ out of Matt Ryan, too. You know, finally, he's got to win the fight. And this looks clearly to be the path to victory, especially after taking that crisp kick. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes he takes those toes, Jason. <laughs> Yeah, that was one of those Anderson Silva, Peter Belfort up kicks. Like, if he landed one inch lower, that would have been a knockout. And, you know, when we think about how much these guys are taxing the cardiovascular systems below, and midway through round number three, probably the smartest decision here. Lay, ground and pound, move, but, you know, don't explode too much. Yeah, and I think sometimes for both guys, both guys are tired right now. So it looks like, to me, like Clement doesn't want to get up. He wants to rest right there. He's comfortable laying there. And if I'm his coach, I'm yelling at him to get up for it's easier said than done because you just had a hard two rounds. You're, you're tired. Your arms are probably dead. Your legs are dead. And you know, at this point, you're like, all right, man, just stay on top. Hold me down and we'll, we'll, let, we'll let the round go out. Referee, yeah, the bishop, I want to. Pause here. Yeah. Wanted to see some more action down the final stretch of the third and final round. Steve Cornett caught that front kick early. We'll see if he can maybe find it again. But Matt Ryan blistering Cornette. into the pocket. Cornett. Great job set up body. Cornette. Cornette, beautiful body shots. Matt Ryan's down, Jason Anik, but not out. I wonder how Matt Ryan feels about that fight being stood up. Probably not too happy. <laughs> Final 30 seconds, Steve Cornette with a massive turn of the tables below. Yeah, he had a couple great body shots mixed in the middle there. I think those really hurt Matt Ryan. And if I'm Cornette, you got to go for the kill here. I think you're down two rounds. You got to get it. Even if I'm his coaches, I'm telling him to stand up. He was, he was piecing him up on the feet. He was doing a good job of going high, low, high, low. But, and Matt Ryan is comfortable in the grappling. Like, you're giving Matt Ryan a position, a spot to recover, and now he finishes the fight on top. Matt Ryan certainly got that dog in him, but, ooh, super slam from Steve Cornett to close out three rounds at 170 pounds. Matt Ryan and Steve Cornett left a lot in that cage, Jason. Dude, explanation, exclamation point on the end of that round for Stephen Cornett. I tell you, these guys would have beaten a lot of lesser fighters tonight, both of them. That was a great matchup. I think both should be proud of themselves. Well, on Muhammad, thoughts on that third and final round. You can see Matt Ryan has a bit of a welt, some lacerations on the face. Yeah, that was a, that was one of those tough rounds. That was a tough fight for both these guys that they're both going to learn from. They both had to dig deep right there. Cornette showed that he wasn't lying. He said, I got to get beat up a little bit to wake up. And he woke up in that third round. Just little things. He's going to look back on this fight. He's going to see that third round and say, man, I should have never grappled. I should have stayed on the feet. He landed some beautiful body shots. He landed that knee that dropped Matt Ryan. And you stand that back up, and I think you would got to finish there. We take a look at the end of the round highlights here. Steve Cornett really making some some action happen, Jason. No question about it. And certainly that could get him now. I mean, I think he won that round anyway, so that certainly could have been moot. Um, but, it's, you know, ultimately, round one, there was really little opportunity for him to get up off the ground. Round two, Bilal, I think you might have wanted to see him strike a little more. No, you're good. Certainly some style points by Steve Cornett there. I mean... That's a five-star suplex if I've ever seen one. Oh, no question. Five-star Kentucky waterfall haircut, too. <laughs> i got to say, our special guest in the building, Cardio Kane Velasquez, ringside, maybe giving these fighters some extra motivation. Oh, no question about it. Spe we got Anthony Pettis, Kane Velasquez, Bala Mohamed. We've got some talent in the building tonight. We send it inside to bed and ring announcer Michael Hansen to find out the winner between Matt Ryan and Steve Cornett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards for decision. At all three, 28, 28. This fight is a a unit. Had some difficulties, but I believe we've got a majority draw on our hands. Very easy. Come on, guys. Let's give it up for both these warriors right here. They left it off out there. No oh, cool win. Honestly, it was an amazing fight. Both your heart on there. If I'm a fan, I enjoyed that fight. So let's give it up one more time for both these guys. Come on. Man, 
he had a dominant first round after that first round. He always says, I need to get beat up to wake up. You woke him up. It was a tough third round. How did that body shot feel? Did that really hurt? Oh, that body shot felt rough. It did. You tough and through it, man. You got a lot of heart. You're going to get better. You're going to grow from this. When you fight a tough guy like Matt Cornell, you were lying yesterday when you said, I got to get beat up to wake up. Huh? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> both these guys, let's give it up one more time for both these guys. They're dead. They're tired. Let's wake them up. Great energy, both these guys. I mean, a great test for both individuals. Blah Muhammad crushing it on the post fight, Mike. And a majority draw in a 